5432 and 6233. Um, electric seats, <laughs> but most other cars in this class doesn't have it except for Ionic. So, you, you know, you, you can't really expect to have uh, electric adjustable seats. And I, the Ionic only has it on this side, not uh, the other side, in a way. But uh, at least it's leather, uh, probably from an animal, a dead animal. Uh, it's perforated, but not ventilated, but it is heated at least. And um, you see that um, because this car is so small, you have a very, like, you sit very upright. I feel like I'm driving the, the Model X sometimes. We are small S, um, for instance, Ionic again, I refer to Ionic. Um, you sit more laid, uh, you, you, you sit more laid back, but this one, because of its, its um, shape, you have to sit more upright. So yes, uh, some people like it, some people uh, dislike it, but uh, that's why I guess you have different uh, cars for different needs. And let me show you the back here. Oh, I got the car. Yeah, that's the lock button. The back seats. Um, now, I have shown you this before when I was in Korea. You see, um, the floor here is somewhat high and that's because the battery pack is kind of huge and is under here just like uh, Tesla and i3 but uh, whereas uh, some of the other cars for instance um, the e-golf they put like a leaf they put parts of the battery under the seats or something to just to have you know, a lower floor but this one the floor is like it's kind of high and I'm gonna to try to show you um, when I'm s sitting here okay okay I, th I think you see it now um, you see that uh, my leg uh, I'm 173 centimeters so mm -hmm. I would imagine if you have like people who are taller than me I'm uh, just a short Asian uh, they, they won't have the most comfortable seating here or you want to place like the long guy. At some point, the phone will tell us we can't park here either. On the seat, like just like the we shop down there for downtown instance. when we were trying to see that. You can can't have have catch an Amtrak. Right. So, um, Amtrak, it's not, not Amtrak. Like, it's not the best. He just and passed also, by us. He didn't. He didn't tell us. Uh, like I don't. He didn't say anything. Uh, but at some point, I'm saying they're yeah. probably going to tell us we can't <laughs> park here because it's private yeah, property. Um, this one, the back seat, is also like you sit very upright. Let me slide over to this side. Show you. So the angle of the seat is not as like laid back as some of the other cars. So yeah, hmm. but that's just the nature of this car because uh, I believe it's um, it's more like a city car. Um, it is very small, out of dimensions, and uh, that makes it very easy to park in the city and you know to parallel park or whatever. But it has the range. So it also kind of makes sense to go on long trips, uh, even though I think it's not uh, optimal, but I don't know yet uh, how to do this long trip. Uh, but on, if, even if you're driving in the city, you know, having a big battery pack, uh, not having to like look for a, for a charging station after just 100 kilometers is, is very good convenience. And I believe this car will, will steal a lot of um, fossil uh, customers, you know, up until now, they they don't want to buy uh, EV because you know it's just a hassle to find charging stations so often. But and they also only drive in the city. So if they can just charge at home and then do let's say 200 kilometers in the city and then go back home and charge, then you know there you have it. Yeah, you might have another customer. Uh, as I also shown you before, the interior is very plastic-ish. You have very like hard plastic panels everywhere here here at least you have uh, heated seats for the rear yeah only one setting one uh, on and off um, but let me show you the boot space or the trunk space okay yeah I have some of my crap in here but <laughs> the trunk is actually pretty large uh, See, uh, I have, it's like, crap is not a bad word. it has this dip, <laughs> so it can accommodate uh, 
large suitcases, uh, you can probably have them standing up or stack them somehow. Uh, and it also has hooks here for securing cargo. Uh, I, I couldn't find an outlet, 12 volt outlet here. So that one is missing. And again here, you see, you just have hard plastic everywhere. <laughs> so either you like it or you hate it. And under here, it's supposed to be like a, um, a spare wheel uh, well, but not in this car. It's, uh, oh, there, there, there. It's, we just have some tools here. Yeah, uh, I guess you can remove it and put a subwoofer and amplifier here or something. But, uh, no, what the heck. Man, I'm trying not to ruin the car. Okay, there, there. All right. And of course, you can fold down the seats. And they fold almost flat. Very this is easy, a long like train. Uh, but oh. you see, um, when There's you fold another on the train seat, coming, a local. It doesn't become flat, uh, like a flat cargo space. It, it looks like this. <laughs> yeah. So you just have to figure, like, if you haven't put long items here, like IKEA stuff. Um, yeah, you're, this is. Probably not the one, six, nine, car, one. but I guess people who who buy this car, you know, they're probably not looking for uh, an IKEA hauler anyway. But I guess I mean it kind of accommodates them. What you can't do if you put if you buy IKEA, you know, stuff is you put some uh, some of the smaller packages in the lower here where you but it has to be strong enough, and then then you can put some long items. Uh, in there, Oof, in there, yeah. So, I mean, it is, uh, I would say, versatile, you know? It is flexible in that way, yeah? With the folding seats and everything. And you, you also have to remember, this, this car is uh, low cost and I would say long range. It can match Tesla's range. <laughs> no other other car, car in this class can do that. So, um, yeah, but you know what? I have to pay attention to the time because I think we're gonna go to. Um, we, have to we have to catch a ferry. So, so I will show more of the car later. This is like the first introduction, and then I'll show more stuff of the car. <laughs> yes, but anyway, off we go. Starting to slow down. I just confirmed that my Clever card works. Uh, you know, Clever is a very widespread uh, charging network in Denmark. It's like in Norway, you have to have either uh, Fortum or Glyngotak, but in Denmark, it's Clever. Yeah, so it works, that's fine, because it's actually very important that I have Clever support. Uh, but anyway, so see, we are here in Hitchhouse, and we're going to Hanning over here. So I need some sleep, a couple of hours at least. So I booked just a cheap room. Uh, I will just stay there for a couple of hours. And then I'm gonna go to Ring Cobing and let me see. I use this app, Clever app. And uh, let's see, can I go back here? Yes, yes, yes. So the Clever app will show you Clever charging station in <laughs> actually yeah, you have you have all over Denmark and Sweden pretty much. I think they're also going to establish in Norway eventually. But anyway. Here we have some fast chargers. Uh, this one, it just happened to have CCS and Type 2, not chargeable. But that's good. And they actually have a picture here, so this is nice. This is uh, supplied by 